shop is clean, and I think you know what that means. We are starting a new project. Now I start off all projects the same, um, design it in SketchUp. I take my design with my dimensions and we get building. Um, we got another 36 inch vanity coming up. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be built the same as the first, except this one will be complete. Uh, we've got a countertop, we've got sink, uh, faucet, and hardware, so we're gonna build it um, from the ground up. Follow along, hopefully you can learn something, and I am hoping to have plans for this. So uh, check in the description, I'll update it as soon as I got the plans uh, ready to go. Hope you enjoy. All right, so that's the plywood sheet cut up. Um, we got the uh, two sides, we got the bottom panel, we got the uh, stretchers for the top and the back, and then we have dividers for the drawer. Um, two of these will be mounted in between the drawers, and the other two I will be using as a spacer for the middle divider between the drawers and the uh, doors. So this one is oversized right now. That one I like to measure in place. Once I'm uh, assembled the cabinet, this one will be the last to be installed. So that is one sheet of three quarter inch plywood. And then we have this big piece over here, just under six feet tall and about two feet wide left over. So not quite one sheet. Day two in the shop here for the vanity build. Don't have a lot of time here today. Just wanna to, uh, install the divider here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, these are divider pieces. Uh, that'll be for the drawer. 
All I do is set these up on the corners and then I take my dimensions from my divider panel. So I got about a third of the sheet here of bulky birch, half inch bulky birch, which is typically what I make my drawer boxes out of, depending on availability. As we all know, this stuff has become extremely expensive. I used to get a 5x5 a five five sheet for $36, and now I'm paying close to $80, $90. Um, anyways, I need three drawer boxes. Uh, they're going to measure 9 inches wide by 18 inches deep with 5-inch uh, sides. Doing some quick mass here to make sure it works. Make sure it works. Let's get this cut. All right, we're into the new week. I'm gonna continue on these drawer boxes that I got here. Um, now that I got the sides and the fronts and backs all cut, I'm gonna continue with a dado stack um, to cut the groove for the uh, bottom panel in the drawers. <laughs> so now that I have all my uh, pieces um, ready to go, what I always do when I make drawers out of a half inch bolting, I'm gonna sand everything with uh, 180 or 220, just hit all the faces, and then uh, I will run, yeah, I believe it's an eighth inch round over, um, over the top just to uh, break up this edge, and then uh, we're ready for assembly. So uh, that's what we'll do.
got some balls to choose from. Uh, mine, Kevin's. I don't it's always good to see you back. Alright, so I'm on to making or installing drawer slides. This uh, doesn't have to be that complicated. There are a lot of ways of doing this, of installing. Uh, and I use some jigs actually. I just have some crazy ones that I use. And you can do it without it too. They definitely do aid in uh, installation. Um, consistency is key. Um, with your measurements, uh, with your spacers, if you can replicate things, I mean, that, that's really what you want to do. You don't want to be freehanding stuff in place. So, as I was saying, this doesn't have to be complicated. Um, we have a three quarter inch spacer. This is what we're going to use to offset the side of the slides. Um, we're going to set the edge of this just inside. We're going to use a self centering bit. This will ensure that we get a center hole. Um, within the slot and we don't have to mess around with that and the spacer ensures our height which we'll replicate on this side slide parts are, are attached to the cabinet um, from the bottom of the cabinet. Now that we have these attached, now all we need is measurement from the base here to the center, which for us is an inch and a half. We want the carcass to be uh, half a quarter inch to three eighths off the butt base here. So we want to subtract quarter or three eighths from our inch and a half. So we will take a measurement on this end at an inch and an eighth. That's it, now let's test it out. Beautiful. All right, y'all won't know, but it's been a minute since I've recorded. Um, it's been a week, at least, week or more, um, since I've worked on this vanity project. Not that I stopped work, not that I didn't work on it. I was still painting, painting the doors on a, uh, on a slower progression because I was, uh, some other projects from previous work got thrown into the mix. The vanity is ready for assembly. I will show you here. We do have the edge banding painted. Um, we did tape this off. I didn't record any of this, but we did tape it off and I sprayed it as I was spraying the doors, primed it as well. This was sprayed with Benjamin Moore. So here are the uh, two side panels. And then we have the three drawer fronts and then the two doors. I use Benjamin Moore Fresh Start for the primer, give it a nice coat, sanding in between. Um, I do generally 220, my last final coat I will sand with 320 and then spray on and that seems to get rid of any sanding lines in the finish. But yeah, that's uh, the doors. Um, we're gonna get this cabinet up on the uh, workbench and we are going to get this thing assembled.
I made this little uh, jig that fits perfectly in the uh, in, inside the shaker panel, and that's how I'll be uh, lining up my holes to uh, drill for the pull. Thank you. 